The warmth of the event, people, the friendliness and that whole nature, I think that's really unique. It's just that wonderful synergy that, that music creates, um, that a, a happy festive atmosphere creates. And it's one of the things about bluegrass music that is kind of magical. The setting is, is such with old barns and uh, trees in a, in, a, in, a, in a valley. To come from any direction, you're coming from a, a bigger town or city. And so uh, when you pull off the, the freeway or come off the ferry, you're entering more of a rural setting. And so it, it makes a huge difference to your, your, your senses. I think that this, in this high-tech world where we are just sort of disconnected and things happen to have uh, a lot of metal, a lot of steel, a lot of computers and all that, to just all of a sudden step back in this small town on this little league field and lay on the grass and just enjoy the sky and enjoy the sun, enjoy the music, it's, it's, there's nothing as simple as that. So if you don't know that you like bluegrass, I say come and find out. Stick around and you're going to hear something that is for you, that plays on what began as bluegrass, those roots of Kentucky, but have now branched out like, like crabgrass or, or a great wonderful fungus that grows in the earth underneath that spreads for hundreds and hundreds of miles that uh, just kind of pops up with their own regional interpretation, their own a uh, musical genre interpretation. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Share the music, share the fun. There is a lot of dancing going on. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Only in Olala. August 17th. 2013, kick the city off your shoes. Come kick the city off your shoes. And just kick that city off your shoes. See you at the festival. Yeah.